I got a sweet little old pressure washer on the bench today. Surprise, surprise. She's hard to start. But once she's running, she does everything she's supposed to do. The pump's producing pressure, unloading like it should, happy with how it runs out, other than she's a cold starter. I think I just need to do a light carburetor cleaning. And that's not the topic here today. The topic is, you're testing these wrong. Let's do a quick little uh, assessment of the project on my workbench. Let's get her running a little bit better, easier to crank. And for those of you who don't hook water to them, we're not hooking water up today. And for those of you who do hook water to them, keep doing that. You're on the right track. This washer not in bad shape. She gave good pressure. I've been using it around the shop for a little while. It, it, it's, it sits in the corner for a little bit and I think this carburetor needs a good cleaning on it. Not a big deal. You've all seen the little carburetor cleanings on the little Honda engines. Great. This is not about the cleaning process. This is about the testing process. A lot of you are doing it wrong. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to state my facts today, and y'all take a look at your information and, and see maybe if you come back and agree with me, because no joke, uh, some of you is just doing it wrong. And today we're going to take a look at a piston assembly that goes in a pump. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. You're all doing it wrong. I broke it out the other day, wanted to use it. It was a little hard to get it to crank. But once it cranked, she functioned, did everything she want, I wanted it to do. And when I shut it off, I tried to crank it again. I had the same issue. So a little hard to crank, but once, it, once she was going, good results. Let's get this carburetor off. Let's get her cleaned up and see if I can get her cranking a bit better. I've already done my pre-inspection. I got good oil in the engine. Gasoline's good. Let's just go ahead and pull that carburetor down and get cleaned up. So what do you say we, we crank this up and see how it's running cold? And in order to do that, I got two choices. I can either hook a garden hose up to it, get some water flowing through it, or I can pull that pump. And in my opinion, that's your, that's your only two choices. I'm gonna choose to pull the pump. Easier for me than hooking up hoses. I know the pump's working. And it's just, uh, it's just four little old bolts. It's, it's not that difficult. You can run into some difficulties pulling that pump, but not worth burning up a pump. Let's think about how, how that pump operates while, while I fiddle with these bolts under here. Because you don't have much room in there, I agree, and a lot of people will bypass pulling this pump because of this step. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, is it? But it's necessary. Let's think about how that pump functions. The pump's got pistons in it, moving back and forth, riding in a set of seals. Example, piston riding in a series of seals. The lubrication for that system is water. The coolant for that system. Now it's water too. So if I deprive this pump of both its ability to cool the pistons and lubricate the pistons, am I fixing it or tearing it up? It can sometimes not be a lot of clearance there to work with. But I believe if you try, you can get in there and, and pull this stuff apart. And the removal of the pump can always be questionable. Can't put a socket on there, there's no clearance. Your fingers and a little open end wrench is your best friend. Now, now I've got all the bolts out of it. Yes, on both sides. There's a little spot right there to get a screwdriver in. I'm just gonna push that pump off. Let's see if I can just... Maybe I get in here with a little more on each side and push it off. Come on. All right, we'll clean that shaft up, put a little lube on it. It'll come off easier next time. Let's see. On. 
fuel on choke. up she cranks up and runs okay so let's do a little light carburetor cleaning That'll go in there and plug it off for now. Just shove me a little plug in the end of it. I work around it. I didn't trust that plug. I'm just gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. Fuel, I'm gonna get all that fuel drained out to just be coming off. It, it looks pretty good. It's not looking too bad. I want. Hope it don't. Man. Hope it don't look too bad on the inside. I got a feeling I just kind of need to clean it up. That's not so bad. That don't look terrible. Come on, man. But away. I think while that's buzzing away in that uh, ultrasonic cleaner, I, I'm going to go throw a fresh uh, fuel line on that uh, bottom of that gas tank. I got my tank off. Got my carburetor out of that ultrasonic solution over there, and man, she wasn't bad to start with going in there. It was cleaned up nice, and all my brass turned out really good too, if you can even tell. But I could, I could tell, especially down there in that jet. So happy with that, how everything cleaned up, and I, let's get it put back together. Get the emulsion tube down in there, my little old jet, find my screwdriver. You've all pretty much seen a, a small carburetor go together, and this is just a simple assembly. Fumble jack. Get in there. Get my little old get my little old gasket sitting down in there where I want it. Get my bowl back on. And my bowl nut. Did we leave any pieces out? Nope, there's nothing left on the table. That's where I want it. When I pulled the fuel tank off, I went ahead and pulled that uh, fuel filter. I was going to replace it. Ain't got one. So I run it through the ultrasonic cleaner with the carburetor and everything else and blew it out with the air hose and give it a good looking at it. It, it was fine. I just wanted it clean.
now that it's cleaned up, let's put it back in the tank. And I just want to make sure I get it started straight. There's plastic going in the metal. And I want to make sure that it's uh, feeding in smooth. Oh, that, I believe that's all I want to give it. Yeah, I sneak up on stuff like that. I don't want to run up on it fast. I sneak up on it slow. I ain't in slow motion. Now, that's much better. I think it's just easier to get that fuel line through there by pulling the, the air cowling back than it is to try and fight to shoot the gambit through there. Good gravy. Getting closer and closer about a minute now. Hopefully my carburetor cleaning plays to my favor. And and she cranks a lot easier. Come here to me. tank up there. Let's see if we can get this bolt started. And get us a couple nuts on the back side of that tank. I've got my carburetor mounted back up, my tank mounted back up, new fresh fuel line, and I want to know if she will go. I hope that fresh cleaning on that carburetor makes her crank easier. Wasn't really no run issue, just, man, crank easier. That's enough. I'm stingy. Let's don't be so stingy. We ain't got enough. We got enough. Yeah. On. Fuel zone chokes on. Let's just give it a minute. See if I got any kind of leak. Anything feels wet. Everything's looking pretty good to me. What do you say we we'll rip that core? All that, not one time did I worry about burning up this little seal pack in the pump. Food for thought, fellas. Run it for a minute or two, my eye.
Now set up like this, I can tinker with this engine, play with this carburetor, limp it along, run it, whatever I want to do for as long as I want to, and never one time. Nope, not a little bit. Worry about burning the man's pump up. Not for just a little bit. Just a little bit of extra effort. I could have either hooked up the water and ran it up here on the bench. Run the, don't have to put a gun on the end of it, just run it out the door. Keep some cool water moving through it. Or pour full bolts and pull the pump off and reinstall it. It truly only takes a few minutes. And when you think about how the pump works in correlation to the pump seals and the pistons, the pistons are moving against the seals. The seals are stationary. Something's got to lubricate it. Something's got to cool it. Guys, I'm not going to drain the oil out of an engine. Clean the carburetor and just run it for a minute or two. Y'all have a good day.